Hey, Aaron. Uh, we just talked to Malone, and, and he was talking about the matchup with you on Dame. He said you want those matchups. Um, what was the conversation like at, at halftime where obviously you probably wrapped your head around, all right, he's going to be my matchup in the second half? Uh, well, Dame was going crazy in the first half. Um, and it almost looked like we ain't had no answer for him, you know. And so I looked at the coaching staff and said, I got him. Uh, so in the second half, uh, they came out and, you know, they said that I was going to start on him uh, for the first possession. And it really, it was just going to be the first possession. And then I was like, so one possession. And then they were just like, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I love those matchups, man. I love those matchups. Um, I really... I uh, don't care what the matchup is. Um, it could be one, it could be a point guard, it could be a center, you know. Uh, I'm here for it all. Mark Medina, USA Today. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Hey, I got a non-game question here. I was asking people about mental health and wellness, and so I was wondering, how do you compare kind of the mental challenges of this season compared to the bubble, and what's been your approach in trying to navigate those things? Oh, man. Um, one of my really good friends wrote a book. It's called Play Present uh, by Graham Bretchart. And there's just a lot of good, good gems in there. Um, it's like basketball Bible is like the way I like to put it. And, um, you know, I've just been flipping through that and, and rereading that. Um, uh, and, um, you know, just trying to stay mindful. And what I mean by mindful is not attach too many emotions to the thoughts that I have. Uh, kind of just keep an empty empty mind, clear mind, and just uh, allow myself to play the game. Um, as far as like the bubble, uh, I think it's, it's different. You know, we have our fan, we have fans back, we have our families back. So in that sense, it's easier. Um, in this sense, in the other side of it, uh, there's more games, or there were more games, um, more condensed. Um, so uh, a lot of the times you're not feeling good, and that's a big part of uh, mental toughness is understanding that you're not going to feel good every game, but you got to still show up and, and still, you know, do your job. Ralph Haynes, three-point conversion. Hey, Gordon, uh, wanted to ask you, you've been able to affect the game, whether it's defense, scoring, rebounds, assists, hustle plays. When you approach the game, is, is there, do you fill the game out to see where you can affect the game or is it pre, you know, uh, determined by whether it's you or coaching when it comes to that? Uh I just try and go out there and be fully myself, you know. Uh, that's what they're asking for me. Of what's, what they're asking of me is to go out there and be me. You know, they, they know that I'm capable of a lot of things on the basketball floor. Uh, if I bring uh, my IQ, my energy, my athleticism, and my skill set, you know, that combination uh, makes for a, a lot of good things that, that can happen on the floor. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Aaron, those um th those scuffles that you guys got into with Portland tonight, do you think like that got you guys going at all and just kind of turned up your guys' aggressiveness at all? I I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I think we were pretty locked in this game. Um, but, you know, we're not backing down. So... I don't know what, what they were doing, what they were trying to do on that side. But, you know, we're focused on us. So um, we came together and, and we played a really decent ball game. Really good ball game, actually. Finney Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Aaron, that, that bench unit seemed to, to play a lot better today than they did in, in game one. What, what did you see them do differently? Uh, I think their pace of play was better. I think they were moving the ball and 
uh, moving moving their man from side to side, uh, sharing the ball a little bit more, um, and then being aggressive, you know, being aggressive, looking to score and using the physicality, whether it be uh, on offensive rebounds or just you know putting their head down and, and dominating inside the paint. Leonardo Torres. Hey, Aaron, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Aaron, you. When, you saw, <laughs> Aaron when you saw Lillard's eight three-pointers in the first half, did you take it personally, or why did you ask to guard them? Um, I don't know why I asked to guard them. I think that's just my competitive nature. You know, I know I'm capable. Um, and I just want to make sure the coaches understand that uh, I'm a defender, you know, uh, it's my niche. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a point guard or a center, like I said, you put me on them and um, make it difficult for them. Um, I, I didn't take it personally. I was looking to win the ball game. I appreciate the coaching staff for having faith in me and put trust in me to take, that on, take on that assignment. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Aaron. I remember at the trade deadline, um, Portland was in the mix. Um, was there ever a moment where you thought you might be on the Blazers? Did that ever cross your mind? And if so, uh, or if not, do you have a relationship with Dame at all? Uh, yeah, they were in the mix. Um, I think uh, earlier in the season as well. Uh, might even, I don't know if it was over the summertime or, or at the very beginning of the season, you know, there were talks. Um, but uh, I'm happy where I am, you know, extremely happy where I am. I'm here for a reason and um, this is where I should be. So it's uh, a beautiful thing how it worked out. Um, and, you know, games from the Bay, he's from Oakland, so I grew up watching Damian play against my brother uh, and, and just seeing him in passing and in gyms uh, growing up as a young boy, as a young buck. So uh, a, a re relationship with Dame, you know, just from knowing him from back in the Bay and then uh, talking to him a little bit uh, over the years. Um, fierce competitor, man. And just incredible ball player from the day that he's entered the league, like even, even before that, you know. All right, Aaron, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Joel Rush from Forbes. Hey, Aaron, uh, coach has said a lot that the <clears throat> team will need to kind of fill in by committee what you're missing with uh, Murray out and the other guys who are injured. Um, your scoring average has jumped from 10 to 16 points in the playoffs. Uh, do you just kind of welcome that opportunity to step into a larger scoring role at this point? I'm just looking to be aggressive, looking to be assertive. I know that's a cliche answer as you guys hear all the time, but it's true. You know, I'm looking to be assertive, get my touches on offense and defense, uh, take what the defense gives me and then just use my size. I feel like I have a mismatch all the time. So I'm um, just taking advantage of that. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Aaron. I uh, see ya.